Okay, in this video I'm going to look at uh, the factors for numbers up to 40. And uh, you have to remember that uh, to be a factor of a number, uh, any number, it, a factor is any number which divides evenly without remainders into another number. Okay, so basically what that means is that if we look at 16, we're looking at, right, what numbers uh, divide evenly into 16 without any remainders. Well, another way of saying that is w how can we make 16? Well, we can make 16 by going 2 times 8. We can make 16 uh, by going uh, 4 times 4. Okay. Um, so the factors of 16 are 2, 8, 4. Okay. Now, uh, the other thing you need to remember is that there is a rule that 1 is always a factor and the number itself is also always a factor. So we've got 16, 1, 2, 8, and 4 are factors of 16. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, 24 now. Uh, what numbers divide evenly into 24 without any remainders and without anything left over. Well, obviously, 1 will divide into 24 evenly. Uh, 2, will 2 divide into 24 evenly? Yes, because 2 times 12, so we can write 2, okay? And we can write 12. All right. Okay, so uh, what else can we uh, divide? Uh, will 3 go into 24? Yes, 3 and 8 go into 24, because 3 times 8 is 24. Uh, 4, yes, 4 goes into 24 evenly, because when we multiply it by 6, it gives us 4 sixes or 24. All right, what about 5? No, because in, uh, this 24 uh, does not end in 0 or 5, so we can't use 5. What about 6? Well, we've got 6 already. What about 7? No, 7 doesn't go. 8, uh, we've got 8, yes, 3 times 8 is 24. 9, no. 10, no. 11, no. And so on. Okay, so uh, the only other number that we can add to this list is 24 itself. Okay, because the number itself is always considered a factor. All right, so uh, have a try of uh, 38 and 40 and see if you can work out what the factors of those two numbers are. Okay, and um, stop the video, work it out, and then when you think you've got the answer, start the video and you'll see how you did. Okay, so you can see that uh, 38 uh, has one, two, three, four factors. And to help you out, I've shown you uh, another way of looking at it. Uh, remember that any number, in order for it to be a factor, uh, has to divide evenly without remainders. So another way of saying that is what if, it, if, it, if you use it to multiply with another number and it makes the, the number you're looking for, then it's a factor. So 2 times 19 makes 38. So that means that 2 and 19 are factors. 1 times 38 makes 38, obviously. So that means that 1 and 38 are factors. Okay, uh, going over to 40, we can see that 40 has 8 factors. There are 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20, and of course, 40 itself. I made a bit of a mistake there, I wrote 48. Okay, to check if they are factors, then you can just check it yourself by doing some multiplication. 1 times 40 is 40, so that makes that 1 and 40 a factor. 2 times 20 makes 40, that means 2 and 20 are factors. 4 times 10 makes 40, that means 4 and 10 are factors, and 5 times 8 makes 40, that means 5 and 8 are factors. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Good luck.